It's been nearly a decade since players first tore up the streets of Los Santos in Grand Theft Auto V, and while players can always jump into GTA Online to get their chaotic crime sim fix, it's GTA 6 that they've got their sniper sights set on. Rockstar Games and its parent company Take-Two Interactive have yet to confirm a release date for GTA 6. However, it's possible to make an educated guess about the launch window based on the information that has been circulated so far. In mid-2021, leaker Tom Henderson predicted that the Grand Theft Auto sequel would come out in 2024 or 2025. He suggested that a shift towards reducing the emphasis on crunch at the studio had impacted the production timeline. Plans to only drop the game for PS5, Xbox Series XS, and PC may have pushed the target back even further, since the new console suffered from a lack of availability for some time after their debut. Bloomberg's Jason Schreier supported Henderson's claim on Twitter, stating that, "...everything he has said about the game matches up with what I've heard." A Take-Two earnings report from May 2023 could support the GTA 6 release date rumors. The company shared that it had been gearing up for a while to release several groundbreaking titles in the 2025 fiscal year. This period spans October 2024 through September 2025, which would place the title's launch neatly in the anticipated time slot. Further comments from Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick have fans even more certain that the game is arriving sooner rather than later, as he anticipates record-breaking sales in the aforementioned fiscal year. Much of what the community has unearthed about GTA 6 stemmed from a massive leak in September 2022. Rockstar confirmed that the leak showed, quote, early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto in a tweet. The material included a host of videos and screenshots, some of which seemed to confirm details of the setting, at least as they existed in that preliminary form. It's worth noting, however, that we can't show you any of that here. Why? Copyright law! Copyright law! It looks like the sequel will return players to Vice City, the setting of the fourth mainline installment in the GTA series. The leaked footage suggests that Rockstar has left the 80s behind in favor of a modern setting. In fact, the game's place in the timeline may fall after what transpired in GTA V. Similar to its predecessor, the follow-up could also include multiple protagonists. The leak showed the player switching between two figures, Jason and Lucia. If Rockstar retained this detail, it would also confirm long-recurring speculation that GTA 6 will feature a female main character. There's no way to guarantee that a particular game is going to be good. Massively successful AAA studios sometimes drop terrible releases, and indie developers have been known to release groundbreaking games. Prejudging a game's quality is a fool's errand. But if we were going to be fools, there's one metric that might be helpful – development time. Of course, some games get stuck in development hell and endure extremely long development times for no good reason. But games that are being actively developed over an extended period of time do have a tendency to turn out pretty great. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom famously had an extra year added to its development cycle, and almost everyone agrees that the game is a masterpiece. A ton of money and an extra-sized team can work wonders on a game, but there's really no substitute for time. And with that metric in mind, GTA 6 is already looking good. The 2022 Rockstar leak revealed how far along GTA 6 is, and excited fans did some extra sleuthing to piece together how long the developers have been working on the game. By digging through a LinkedIn profile for a former Rockstar team member, fans were able to figure out that GTA 6 development likely began in 2015. Putting nearly a decade of dedicated effort into a single game is bound to pay off in one way or another. And gamers can't wait to see how Rockstar spent its time. Well, please, all right, you'd alleviate the boredom. Given the amount of leaked footage and information, players may wonder if GTA 6 will get hit with a delay to allow the developers to change aspects of the title. Rockstar Games made its feelings about the leak, which stemmed from an illegal network intrusion quite clear. In a Twitter statement, the company said, We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. However, it also emphasized that work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned, indicating the event wouldn't have a lasting effect on its strategies. Rockstar may be confident about its launch plans, but Tom Henderson has expressed some doubt. In an early 2023 tweet, he suggested that GTA 6 would receive a 2024 launch target before getting pushed into 2025. Rather than focusing on the fallout of the leak, he suggested that the delay would stem from the state of the current-gen console market, and that Take-Two might prefer to release a sequel in 2025 to give it the best chance for high sales numbers. 
Games keep getting bigger. It's not just that developers are finding ways to fill their virtual worlds with more NPCs, more missions, and more exciting discoveries for players to stumble into. The maps are literally growing as the years go by. You can see this trend playing out in games like Elden Ring and Diablo 4, and GTA 6 is absolutely going to follow that same trend. Rumors about the GTA 6 map have been swirling for a long time. In early 2022, some analysts were predicting that the game would entirely break from the series' tradition and allow players to explore multiple cities and multiple continents. As exciting as that might be, leaving the states in a GTA game sounds a little far-fetched. And the big footage leak later that year seemed to put some cold water on that particular rumor. These GTA 6 leaks all but confirm that the game is going to be set primarily in Vice City. But it won't exactly be the version of that fictional city with which fans are already familiar. GTA 5 offered gamers the biggest map in the entire series. But fans who really dug through the 2022 leaks discovered that GTA 6 may blow its predecessor's map out of the water. Vice City will take up a sizable portion of that map. But fans can expect to be spending plenty of time exploring the surrounding environment. GTA 6 will really be a game you can lose yourself in. Minds are gonna blow. Developing a game is all about marrying new ideas to elements that have proven successful in the past. When Rockstar looks back at various GTA games, it might pay special attention to elements that were particularly celebrated by critics, or moments in games that had a big cultural impact. And most likely of all, the devs will look at the innovation that helped sell over 180 million copies. As of 2023, GTA 5 accounted for nearly half of all game sales for the entire GTA series. And there's no doubt that the game's online features had a big role to play in those sales. With that in mind, there's not much of a question of whether or not GTA 6 will have an online component. Instead, we need to ask how GTA 6 will implement its online features. And there's at least one sign that the game is going to do something entirely new for the series. In September 2022, Rockstar filed a patent called System and Method for Virtual Navigation in a Gaming Environment, which might hint at GTA 6 being always online. Rockstar's new system is aimed at improving NPC pathfinding. Essentially, the goal is to make a virtual city feel alive by filling it with NPCs that behave realistically. The pattern proposes having cloud servers do all the calculations for NPC pass, rather than asking a player's console or PC to do the heavy lifting. It's possible GTA 6 will require a constant internet connection, but it's also likely that it will have the most realistic feeling city gamers have ever explored. The GTA series is as much about gameplay as it is about characters. The games might be known for letting fans hijack cars and wreak havoc on an unsuspecting city, but there's always a surprisingly deep story told alongside all the shenanigans. Well-written characters need talented voice actors to bring them to life. War is where the young and stupid are tricked by the old and bitter into killing each other. Well, fans have started to figure out who might be portraying some of the characters we'll see in GTA 6. We may already know two of them. Back in 2020, one GTA 6 voice actor broke his silence after fans took notice of some changes in his work history. Jorge Consejo quietly updated his resume to include GTA 6, but he probably didn't expect fans to jump on the change so quickly. Consejo, who listed a character called The Mexican in his work history, seemingly addressed the issue in a post on Twitter. He wrote, While I read every message from you, please know that because of contract stipulations, sometimes I'm unable to comment on certain projects. Nothing to see here, right? In May 2023, another rumored GTA 6 actor's Instagram post sent the internet into a frenzy. Brian Zampella posted a picture that would seem innocuous to anyone who didn't follow the Rockstar leaks in 2022. The photo, which Zampella later took down, shows him standing on a beach wearing a white tank top and a backwards red baseball cap. That just so happens to be the exact outfit fans saw Jason, one of the supposed GTA 6 protagonists, wearing in the leaked game footage. 